My mother had died of breast cancer when I, Krista, was six years old. And my father and my brother had died in an automobile accident in Olcott, New York, my hometown, only a few weeks after my mother's death. Waiting out here and you're late. Why? Because I'm here in the Northeast, Chrissy. And it's been so long. 18 years. Mostly I live in the Bay Area. San Francisco. I was thinking I'd like to rent a car and drive to see you. Two of us could drive up to Olcott together. We could do that. You haven't been back, have you? I haven't either. Of course. Chrissy, please. Don't call me Chrissy. Do you mind? No one else does. But no one else is your brother. I'm going to hang up now. Wouldn't you want to revisit Olcott after so long? June 19th, 1991. The deaths. This is what it was called. The cataclysmic event of June 19th, when Rick Ely killed his wife Lorraine with a claw hammer, smashing her skull as she ran screaming from him on the beach at Olcott, and when Rick Ely subsequently killed himself by driving his car into a highway abutment later that night. My father did not kill my mother. Another person killed her on the beach. My father died because he couldn't bear the loneliness. His death was an accident. Don't you want to talk about it? Talk about what? The, the death. death. Had she seen? She had not, hadn't seen, and hadn't heard, had not heard the woman who was her mother screaming for help. <laughs> 